Hi there. In this short video, we will cover the steps needed to install an RxG on VMware ESXi. The RxG is a router, and thus it requires separate network segments for the WAN and LAN. A default VMware ESXi installation includes only a single virtual switch. We must edit that existing switch as well as create a second virtual switch. Let's navigate to Network Settings. Edit the default switch. Now let's enable all the options under the security setting. This allows DHCP to pass. We then create a second virtual switch. Once again, we're going to enable all the options under the security setting. Now, let's create the port groups for the LAN and WAN. We navigate to the port groups tab and create the WAN port group, and then we attach the WAN port group to the switch attached to the interface that we desire. We then create a second port group for the LAN. We must set the VLAN ID of this group to 4095 in order to enable it as a trunk port. Now, we must prepare the storage subsystem. Let's create a new data store and format it as VMFS. Now we can browse the data store that we just created. We can now upload the RxG ISO to the ESXi data store using the browser. This may take a few minutes to complete. Now, we are ready to create the RxG virtual machine. Choose Other as the operating system family and FreeBSD 64-bit for the operating system type. Now configure the CPU, RAM, and disk settings based on the values required for this installation. You must add at least one more network adapter. In this example, we have added three additional network adapters. We use the VMX Net3 adapter types. We must also be careful to attach the network adapters to the appropriate port groups. Finally, let's attach the RxG ISO file to the CD-ROM. Now, we may power on the VM to start the installation. Let's hit enter to proceed past this prompt. The installation will take a few minutes to complete. Once the installation is complete, we will power down the virtual machine. Let's edit the settings of the VM and use the VM options tab. Find the advanced settings and edit the options. Let's search for ethernet. Now, we must enter a reasonable sequence for the slot numbers to ensure the network adapters line up with the virtual interfaces. In this example, we use 1184, 2208, 3232, and 4256. These are known good values. We can now save these settings and power on the virtual machine. The RxG virtual machine will go through the initialization process. This will take several minutes. Once this is complete, you may now proceed with accessing the web GUI. Thank you guys for watching this brief demonstration of installing the RxG on VMware ESXi.